On the mound tonight for the Minnesota Twins, Dylan Bundy. He's making his 13th start, coming off a couple good ones, so see if he can continue that trend. Up the middle, will it get through? You bet. In the center field for a leadoff single. He's been getting a lot of hits up the middle recently. Nice. Base hit left field. That was the slow hook right there. Rosario pulls it in the left, 38th hit this month. Right field, fair ball. Quan into third. He'll stop there. The bases are loaded. The Guardians desperately need Reyes to get it going. Set in the pitch. Swung on, grounded to short. Backhanded by Polanco to second. Low throw dug out for one out. Throw to first. Wide of the mark. And that'll score a second run. And the ball goes out of play. And Reyes goes to second. So Reyes with a ground ball in the hole of the left side of the infield. Polanco with the backhand. Threw across his body off balance, but he one hopped the throw to second. A good dig out by Arise. Arise then really didn't have a chance to turn two, but tried to make a wide throw to first as he was almost down on both knees. That's when the throw went wide to first, and it enabled two runs to score. Right field, pretty well hit. Back goes Kepler, it's over his head, short hops the wall. Quan around third, he'll have to That's... hold there. He thought that Kepler was gonna run it down wow. and was unable to score. Yeah, you gotta get a better read than that. You've gotta have a feel. You've gotta know where that right fielder's playing. You've gotta score on a double. He was too close to second base, he's gotta be. And, and if he would have caught the ball and he was halfway, he would have been able to go back and tag up. But look how close he is. He's going back there and it's hit over his head. Josh Naylor with a chance to get the Guardians a little padding in that lead 2 nothing here in the third. Well, this is That'll get it done. Here, left field, plenty deep enough. Kirloff settles under it. Juan takes off. That throw is well up the line. And it's 3 nothing Guardians. RBI number 39 for Josh Naylor. Now the 2-1. It was a high fly left center field hit a long way straw back that ball is off the wall still in play and Sanchez goes to second with a stand up double facing Kirilov though who's two for two against Cal Quantrill swung on and hit high in the air to right field for Kirilov Gonzalez chasing after it he's at the wall and that's a home run in this ballpark. Alex Kirilov with a two run shot to right and it's a brand new ball game 3 2 in favor of the Guardians. Kirilov is three for three. He's a triple shy of the cycle and the twins are right back in it. So just like that Cleveland now leads three to two and a strike to Gio Urshela and here we go again. Another two strike pitch and a drive to left and deep going back as Kwan. We're tied. Three straight extra base hits after the second out, and it's three apiece. Gio Urshela has dominated against AL Central opponents, and especially these Cleveland Guardians. He does it again there, ties the game back to back home runs, and this one a fastball down and in, in off the plate, but a really nice swing. Gio Urshela, no doubter, to left field. Ball right side. Oh, he's going to beat him over there. Miranda's throw is behind him, but smartly backed up by Ryan Jeffers. So Rosario will have to hold at first base, but they've got to go wow. ahead and run aboard. Rosario at second, two out, one ball, two strikes. Duran to Naylor. Righty to lefty, and again the one two pitch ground ball right side. Arise will backhand from right field, gloves throws him out. And the Guardians don't score. Arise makes the play in right center field, and Cleveland leaves Rosario in scoring position. Hope to right, and that's going to die in the grass for a base hit. Shell is aboard. Get right off the end of the bat. A one out single will get Jeffers to the plate. We've seen Buxton make some pinch hitting appearances recently. The one two. Weak ground ball to short. Rosario. Perfect throw. 
We're headed to the bottom of the ninth. Still not enough. At three apiece. In the pinch hitter, Richie Palacios to bat for Luke Maley. Now the pitch. Swing and another weak pop-up. In shallow left, Palanco, the shortstop, will retire Palacios. And we've got extra innings here at the corner of Carnegie and Ontario. Anyway, we've got the 10th inning upon us, and we've got a 3-3 game. Eli Morgan to face the leadoff man, Luis Arise. The runner at second, Byron Buxton. The pitch to Arise, and he sends one to left foul near that netting, and that's caught by Palacios. Tagging going to third is Buxton. Throw to third, skips all the way to home plate. Oh, did Buxton! Do some aggressive base running. And now Buxton's down in the ground. You wonder, is he shaken up? That ball was caught up against that netting down the left field line by Richie Palacios. And Byron Buxton aggressively went second to third. First at bat tonight for Correa. He's had a great series. Driven to right field, a base hit. Buxton will come in, and Correa delivers a big pinch hit. And the Twins take a 10th inning lead. It's a great at bat by Carlos Correa. Kepler's seven homers, 33 runs batted in. 4 3 Twins, 10th inning. This will be Morgan's 19th pitch of the inning. And a 1 2 pitch, a swing and a fly ball into right field and deep. Back it goes! Gone! Kepler! A 10th inning, two run homer. And the Twins take a 6 3 lead here in Cleveland. That's the Kepler we know and love that forever has enjoyed coming to downtown Cleveland and crushing pitching at this ballpark time and time again. And he does it in the 10th inning, and the Twins lead 6-3. Six 6-3 to three. Six to three Minnesota. Bottom of the 10th inning. Cleveland with the runners at the corners, one out. Left field, deep down the line it goes. Palacio scores. Juan into third, and we ain't done yet. Well, they're it's not gonna... six to four, and the tying run is at second base. Off the glove. Here comes Quan. Safe. One run game. Tying run, 90 feet away. Just a pass ball. He just boy, he, he boxed it. it. He boxed it right off the end of the glove. Josh Naylor. Rosario at third, two down, two runs in. The 2-2. Two -two. Left field. It's deep. Gordon is back. Looking up. It's gone! There may not be a more emotional player in the game of baseball today. Just as he willed them to win in Chicago back in May, he has done it again here tonight. Late in the month of June in a game they almost had to have the way things were going. It didn't look good. It was about as bleak as it's been. Down 6-3. Going into the bottom of the 10th inning. Down to their last strike. And Josh Naylor lifts one up onto the home run porch.